Chapter 10, Who Laughs Last? While Chatso was riding the camel across the desert, Sniff the bear cub was hiding in a jungle in Africa. He sniffed here and there as he followed the tracks of strange animals through the jungle. After a time, he came to a river where many animals of the jungle and the plains came to drink. Who are you? asked Dick Dick, the antelope. I have never seen anyone like you here at our water hole before. I'm Sniff the bear cub. I want a good drink of water and something to eat. And who are you? asked the little bear. I am a Dick Dick, said the little brown antelope, who was not much bigger than a rabbit. I am one of the fastest runners in Africa. Can you run fast, Sniff? Before Sniff could answer, someone nearby called out loudly, ha ha ha. He wants you to think he's the fastest runner in Africa. But see who is coming now. It's that big spotted cat. Ha 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 ha. With a sharp little whistle, Dick Dick leaped over Sniff's back and raced out of sight. Cheetah, the big spotted cat, came to the riverbank, stopped for a moment, and looked all around. Then she raced off after the antelope. Ha 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 ha! There was that loud laugh again. Sniff turned around to see who was laughing. It was the hyena. Dick Dick knows who can run fastest of all, the hyena said, looking at Sniff. He knows that Cheetah can run faster than any other animal in the world. Dick Dick is running, not talking now. Ha 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 ha! The little bear did not like the laughing hyena. The other animals did not seem to like him much either. He laughed too much. He laughed at everything and at everybody. His laugh did not sound like a happy laugh. It sounded as if he were making fun of everyone. While the hyena was still laughing, Mr. Zebra came to the river for a drink. Sniff looked at the zebra and asked, Who painted the black and white stripes on you, little mule? You must be ready for the circus. Before the zebra could answer, the hyena laughed again and said, Mule, painted mule, ha 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 ha. He might ask you, little bear, who cut off your tail, ha 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 ha. Just then a family of chimpanzees came swinging down from the treetops. Mr. Chip came to up to Sniff and said, That is Mr. Zebra, and a very fine fellow he is. He is not painted. He grows that striped coat by himself. Oh, that is wonderful. I think his striped coat is very pretty, replied Sniff. What is so wonderful about that striped coat? I think it makes Mr. Zebra look like a clown. Ha 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 ha, said the hyena. Mr. Chimp looked at Mrs. Chimp and the two baby chimpanzees and said, That hyena laughs too much. One of these days he is going to find that someone else will have the last laugh. Just then, a big, long-legged water bird stepped out of the water, flapped his wings, and flew away. A tall giraffe put his head down to old Hippo's ear and whispered something to him. Then the giraffe moved away and disappeared. Old Hippo began to go lower and lower into the water. Before he disappeared, he called out, The king is coming! Make way for the king! Mrs. Chimp ran to her babies, who were tumbling about and standing on their heads, and cried out, The king is coming! Get up on a tree! How do you know? asked one little chimpanzee. Mr. Giraffe looked over the tops of the trees and saw the king coming toward the river, replied Mrs. Chimp, as she and Mr. Chimp took the baby chimpanzees by the hand and led them high into a tree. Soon, Mr. Zebra held his ears high, waved his tail, and hurried away from the drinking place. Only the hyena was left with little bear beside the river. Looking at Sniff, the hyena laughed. Ha ha, ha ha! Leo the lion is the king of the animals. You will make a good supper for the king. When he has finished with you, I will eat your bones. Ha 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 ha. You will not eat my bones, said the frightened little bear, and up the tree he climbed. He cannot get at you, said Mr. Chimp to Sniff. The hyena is always laughing, and he is not very brave. He is afraid to try to catch most animals. He waits for Leo or Cheetah to catch an animal, and then he eats whatever they leave. The big lion walked down to the river and got a drink. He looked at the hyena and shook his shaggy head. And then he said, Why were you laughing so much? I see nothing funny here. You laugh too much. He who laughs last laughs best. With that, King Leo turned and walked away from the river, sniffing all the way at Mr. Zebra's tracks. When the lion had gone, Old Hippo came up from the water. The chimpanzees and the little bear came down from the tree. The hyena still laughed and laughed. Soon they all heard the sound of someone coming toward the river. 
Sniff started to climb the tree again, but Mr. Chimp said, You do not need to hide. That is Little Elephant coming for a drink. He is a baby elephant. He will not hurt you. Is Little Elephant afraid of King Leo or Cheetah the cat? asked Sniff. Oh no, elephants are not afraid of any other animal. Elephants are the biggest creatures on earth, even bigger than old Hippo, replied Mr. Chimp. Soon the baby elephant came in sight. He wanted to play with someone. He cried, watch me, I can pull up a tree. And he did. He put his trunk around a small tree and pulled it out of the ground. Oh, how wonderful, cried Sniff, as Little Elephant waved his funny trunk toward him. Little Elephant must use magic. Ha 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 ha! He has no magic, said the hyena. You think he's so wonderful. What do you think he can do? He cannot run as fast as Dick Dick, and Dick Nick, Dick Dick is such a tiny little thing too. He cannot see over the tops of the trees as Giraffe can. He cannot catch a zebra as old Leo can. He cannot climb through the trees as the chimpanzees can. Because he is so big, he can pull up a tree with his trunk, but that is not so wonderful. There is nothing clever about that. What else can he do that, with that funny trunk? I'll tell you, nothing. Just show me one clever thing that you can do with that funny trunk, little elephant. You are big, but someday I will eat your bones. Ha 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 ha! Little elephant put his trunk into the water as if to get a drink. And then he raised his trunk high in the air and blew the water into the laughing hyena's face. While the hyena shook his head and cried, Little Elephant picked him up with his trunk and threw him into the river. The hyena did not laugh lat now. He only said, blah, blah, blah. All the other animals laughed and said, Now you see what Little Elephant can do with his trunk. As the hyena crawled out of the water and ran away, Little Elephant sat down and laughed and laughed. From up in the tree, Mr. Chimp called out, He who laughs last, laughs best. Oh yes, said Stiff, and I'm glad that it is Little Elephant who laughs last.